Hey there, Assassins. Gabe Graziani, your community developer on Assassin's Creed, here with Ezio's Fury, a statuette available only from UB Collectibles. When we got this thing in the office, we thought it was so cool that we figured we'd show it to our art directors on Assassin's Creed Revelations, Raphael Lacoste, and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Mohamed Gambouz. Let's see what they had to say about statue. My comments uh, are based on what I've seen in, um, in different high-end statuettes, so I wanted to to make sure that the statuette we have has as much uh, details as, as uh, possible. For example, the seams uh, need to be there and not like just uh, erased by the, the plastic effect. It's a very dynamic pose, very interesting. It looks like a stop motion. And at the same time, I really like the, um, the way we see the movement in the, in the fabric, in the dress of the assassin. It looks like almost like a bullet time, you know, uh, action. The belt is uh, one of the main uh, the main aspects of the costume because it is the affiliation of the assassin and the role of the assassin. So uh, we wanted to also to avoid the, that plastic feel. So if you look at the center of the, the belt, it has pretty much a metallic feel to it. The scale is, go, is very good because we, we can pay attention to detail. We see the, the dirt into the, the, the small uh, details of the belts and uh, the bracers and even can pay attention to all the details we see in the, 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 the most powerful tool of the assassin, the, the hidden blade. The hidden blade is, uh, is one of the main accessories of the assassin. So whatever you turn the, uh, the statue with, the, uh, the, the shape of the hidden blade stands out. What I like is you, you see the, the antique room context, you know, the runes uh, with the characters. So it brings a connection between the, the settings and, and uh, the main character. 